Hello, my name is Jarris. As you can see before you, there is a tin box, a rather rusty old tin box. I found this at a boot sale. A boot sale in the UK is a is like a flea market where you drive up and sell things from the back of your car. Uh, rubbish, essentially, that you don't don't need, but somebody out there would find quite interesting. And this is one of those things. So it's an old tin box rather rusty as you can see and it has things inside it <laughs> and what i thought we'd do is just have a look inside now i've had a quick look obviously so but i did want to share it with you so let's have a look inside this old tin box rather old in fact we'll open it up and there we go that's it that's the end, end of the video. See you soon. <laughs> Only kidding. Okay, okay. Let's see. The first thing we have is a, a an old photograph of a, a rather stern-looking man in a suit with a hat that might be too big for him. <laughs> I don't know for sure. I, I have no idea. Nothing on the back. Um, from the look of the suit... I'd say it's from the 50s, maybe 40s, possibly. Uh, some of you might have a, a better idea. As I say, he's rather stern, but there we go. Is he the owner of the box? We don't know. Okay, what else do we have? Um, well, this is interesting. Stockholm. Uh, a miniature, whatever that says. Original, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, let's have a look inside here falling apart a bit. Anything on the back? Copyright Eskelholm, Stockholm. I'm not sure what, what that means, but there we go. And in here we've got little cards. So I suppose it's a visitor's card. Um, just enough his name again, or the company's name. Stockholm, <laughs> and he drops them all. There we go. Um, a little keepsake. If you visit Stockholm, you might want to uh, buy these to take them home again or give them away to somebody. They're quite nice, though. The colour. I wonder if they're hand-coloured or if it's just printed. Who knows? They're quite interesting. Uh, what did that guy went to Stockholm? Anyway. Stockholm. Okay, we've got a fair few coins in there, as you can see. So, oh, I'll tell you what. Uh, da -da -da. Edward Barnshaw. Now, I remember, it looks like this was pinned to something. But I, I kind of remember these from when I was a kid. And you could actually um, put a few coins into a, a machine and it would actually press your name or whatever you wanted onto a piece of tin like this. It is tin, yeah, thank you. And it's Edward Barnshaw. So is this Edward Barnshaw? He looks like a Barnshaw, doesn't he? <laughs> I don't know for sure, but that's interesting. Uh, other things, what we got? Now this is interesting. A little bit rusty, although the center part looks like it's made from Maybe brass or something like that, which doesn't rust. And it has these little holes in this, on the ends of these. And they're different sizes. And I have no... Oh, that, that's a square hole rather than being a, a round hole. It could be a winder for a, a watch. And these come off, as you can see. So they unscrew so god knows what that is no idea i say it could be a winder for a, a pocket watch um although you'd have just one winder surely i have no idea anybody out there who knows what this is please let me know in the comments uh other things uh, oh here we go i saw this before uh, I was, what the hell is this? 
as you can see let's just put it there it has this screw here so maybe it's screwed into something and there's a hanger and also a hole at the end there and what i found was if if i just try to screw this one way or the other you have let's put that there you have a pencil uh isn't that cute it's so so goddamn small and it's a retract retractable pencil is that what they there's a name for it i can't remember what it is but that's <laughs> and it actually works it's a cool looking thing so maybe it was on a chain a, a key fob um something like, like that but that's cool and the other thing we have is a, a fair few coins oh i do apologize we've nearly forgotten about this it's a badge or pin it says general lord kitchener now general lord kitchener was a very famous general in the british army and he looks rather stern there as well <laughs> and uh i think i read somewhere that he was in the sudan he was in south africa during the boer war and of course he was uh i think it was head of the forces in the first world war and in the back here let's see so try to get it in it's got the name of the people who did the badge they don't do this anymore but i look very carefully with a magnifier which i very much doubt this will work but no no and it says 1891 on the back there so why would you i suppose if you're part of his army you might have a badge like this but that's in 1891 that's not bad and then we have all these coins so what i'm going to do is get the get the coins out there's a lot of muck as well oh, there's a, a pin there we go there's a pin i presume that's for a, a badge as well don't know <laughs> um so let's have a look through these coins i'll come back to you in a moment hello again who's this handsome guy napoleon the third ah very very worn and on there oh, it's so badly worn but you can just about see well is it upside down i tend to do this looking through the camera lens i'm not sure if that's upside down or not actually hang on it looks like a duck oh, no it's an eagle isn't it i can't quite see what it says on there on the back here with napoleon's uh head uh 18 oh 62 1862 Nine, it might even be 1962 for all i know uh but it's very very worn um pff, french i think oh what's this one let's turn it over I don't know what this is. Again, it's so worn. It might be Br British. I don't know. Can't can hardly see anything. Anyway, I think this is definitely British. Yeah, it's got the little um, robin, I presume. And it says nineteen forty-three. That's cool. Uh, this one's a half penny, I think, by the look of it. Yeah, half penny. 1906. Still pretty old, of course. Dun, dun, dun. So if you're into coins, I suppose this would be interesting. This one... Oh, I can't quite see who's on the back. Victoria. Uh, it's probably a half pence or something like that. 
uh, here's an another penny but it's so thin it looks like it's been run over by a train <laughs> um, no as well as those coins there's some here which are quite interesting in that if we find them if you look at this that's, that's, I'm pretty sure that's Queen Victoria isn't it Ooh, I don't know for sure. Latin on the back there. Oh, that's a bit unusual. Look at that. It's got two holes in there, so maybe they were sewn into some clothing or strung together. Uh, but you got that on that side, which I'll just get a little bit closer with my magnifier. And see what says Regina Fide Ind. I think it is. Uh, yeah, Victoria. Why couldn't I see that before? But on the other side, it has this unusual mark. So is it a voucher or a medallion or some sort of, sort of double A? God knows what, what, what that means. So the Queen's head on one side, double A on the other one. Let's see what's the date. Didn't see one. Um, can't see one on there. But that's very interesting. That. I'm going to have to find out more about that. Uh, and, and I've got three of these coins which have had been drilled or stamped. I think they just took a nail. This one's uh, Victoria again. Uh, does this have a, a date? It looks very... I might have to use my magnifier to look at that. And let's, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Most of this is off camera. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, um, even with my magnifier, it's, 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 it's not particularly clear. Let's see, it's all on one, this one. And even the dates, it's just so worn if anybody out there knows what this is oh I don't know what that says Ran, Rans, Rans, Val, oh Transvaal maybe no maybe not okay okay no, I don't know but it's got the the hole to actually um go on some clothing maybe or and this is the last one of the holes ones with the holes and this one's India, 1892. Queen Victoria. That's a cute little thing. Let's see what else we have. Some of these are just normal. Well, this was... Uh, does this have, no, it doesn't have a hole. It says one cent. So it's the United States. Uh, that's the Indian on the back, see? 1891 so they're around about the same same year um anything else let's have a look well this is uh well go into focus 1891 again so maybe this person was in the army in 1891 and collected these coins this one is a Half penny, I think. Eighteen seventy-nine. Queen Vic. I'm gonna whiz through these because it can be quite boring. Ah, this is much newer. King George, handsome guy. And you got the little. I presume it's a Robin. I'm not sure. Nineteen forty-six. Ah, uh, dee we do this one or did it escape oh it escaped look at the bloody hole in that it stamped that 1894 looks british yeah uh, ba -ba -ba. so this is it's in, interesting i mean i'd love to know the history this one's got all sorts of patina on there and this is 1908 so a little bit newer What's this tiny one? This is really small. Oh, that looks Germanic. Germanicus. And it 
is a whoop. It's a Reich. Oh, 1900. So it's a, what were these called originally? The, the, the Euros nowadays, but I can't remember what they were called. Uh, I don't know. George again. The little bird, 1940. This one has a lot of patina on there. I should clean them up, but does anybody know if I should clean it up? This is a French one, I think. I don't know. Uh, can you see it? Trying to get the light right isn't easy. I've got filthy hands now, by the way. France. So it's a French coin. And I can't see where. Maybe I should just give it a rub over, get some of this. Patina, patina off so I can see what's going on. Oh, 1854. There we go. And last but not least, well, this is the least. Oh, this is this is why I didn't pick it up before. I don't know what that is. I it'd be interesting to clean it up, but it's so worn. I don't know if it's worth it really. Yeah, can't see much there. Anyway. So that's that's our little box. Um, what do you think? Uh, I don't know. It's um, interesting. It may not be from the same person. In fact, it probably isn't. Let's face it. It may be just somebody who's collected all these things. It may not even be him. Look at that jaw. Wow.